they made that living and made a mark, made a mark in the city, made a mark on the land, and now the mark remains. It brings back those sad memories, but after being here in Sino, it's uh, neat to be able to bring my children and just a neat, a neat kind of warm feeling that they're still here, they're still around, they're still alive in all of us. In 1995, their family members were killed by Cordell Boyd and Winona Fletcher in a crime that shocked the city of Anchorage. Fletcher, who was convicted as a teenager for the murder of Ann Faccio and Emma Elliott in 1985, will now have her prison sentence reconsidered after a decision from the Alaska Court of Appeals. Good evening. Fletcher, at age 14, was the state of Alaska's youngest female ever convicted for murder. On April 22, 1985, Fletcher and 19-year-old Cordell Boyd broke into a home in the Russian Jack neighborhood where they shot and killed 69-year-old Tom Faccio, his wife, 7-year-old Ann, and Ann's 76-year-old sister, Emilia Elliott. Fletcher pled not guilty and or no contest to the two murder charges and was delivered a 135-year prison sentence, which the Court of Appeals now says needs to be reevaluated. According to the state court's decision, a series of U.S. Supreme Court cases since 2005 had changed the constitutional ground for juvenile sentencing. The court says children have, quote, different standards than adults for criminal sentencing. Because modern research on child development undermines, quote, the justifications for imposing the harshest sentences on juvenile offenders, even when they commit terrible crimes. The Court of Appeals said in the light of this, Fletcher is entitled to resentencing under the Alaska state constitution. Chief Judge Marjorie Allard of the Alaska Court of Appeals wrote in part, the Alaska Constitution requires a sentencing court to consider a juvenile offender's youth and its attendance characteristics before sentencing a juvenile tried as an adult to the functional equivalent of life without parole. The court also said that while Fletcher's crimes were terrible, the judge in her original trial did not properly consider Fletcher's potential for rehabilitation. The court says Fletcher was repeatedly sexually abused by multiple adults, including one who got her addicted to illicit drugs. She lost her home and began working as a prostitute at age 13. Suki Miller, executive director for Victims of Justice, which was founded by the daughters of Tom and Anne, said this decision could open the door to appeals for other past juvenile convictions. Having decades-old wounds ripped back open should never be taken lightly. These victims and surviving loved ones will be transported back to some of the worst days of their lives. And Fletcher won't necessarily be released or even have her sentence reduced. The decision only means the Alaska Superior Court must reevaluate her sentence under the standards laid out by the Court of Appeals. That hearing has not been scheduled.